Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Last episode we took on the Sky Sanctuary Zone. We helped Knuckles and we fought our an evil robot based off of us, Mecha Sonic. This episode we're taking on the Death Egg. Hopefully we can put take put him out of our misery. The Death Egg. The Death Egg is full of nasty little traps and tricks. Um, not a fun area, and it's very easy to lose your rings very quickly. I recommend using the lightning shield here. Um, as you saw, that area with the lightning shooting up, the the lightning shield will sort of protect you from that. Um, unfortunately, fuck. Well, I was going to say that. Um, so come on! Oh, okay, so we're just not going to have rings. Um, so, unfortunately, I, I think I, I've shown fairly well. There's a lot of dicketry that goes on with this. Um, th th this area is just hard. It's not particularly fun. I don't find it to be particularly easy. It's, it is a challenging area. And it is not one that I enjoy playing. Although it is nice to put Robotnik in his place. So that is good. Fuck you too then, I'll go this way. Excuse me, I will go this way. what you're supposed to do. Doing lightning shield. Um, honestly, it's better if you're hypersonic and you have the lightning shield, because then you can, while you're transformed, you will draw rings towards you, and the only thing you have to worry about is being crushed. Here, basically, um, as you're running along this platform, it is going to shoot the bullets at you, dodge the bullets. Um, this would be a good example of showing what the lightning shield can do. The lightning shield will allow you to stand on this. I think the lightning will still hurt you, though. So, that's not good. Well, avoid it if you can. I think there's a... Okay, yeah, there is an invincibility thing down there. I was like, I think there's a secret down there. And, and since we have invincibility, we don't have to worry about doing anything like that. We can just run through that. Normally, you have to stay on the platform and avoid the bullets. Um, just jump that gap because it does lead to instant death. And now we have Sonic Spinball. Uh, you definitely want to have the lightning shield for this one because there's a lot of rings in here. Specifically, though, we need to activate all of the switches on that platform to be able to progress. They are almost all red. Oh, and we got it somehow. Okay. Ah, okay, here we go. Light dash! No, thank you. I've been shot by that before. As you can see, there's kind of a lot of rings down there, so... So, we are not going to continue on. We're going to go back down there and get those fucking rings. Or we're going to pick up those 30 rings, because I don't care about the rest. Okay, and apparently, we have to go... Stop that. Apparently, we have to go back to the beginning, so... <sighs> and this one's gonna be a bit longer because it is the finale, because we are going to also be covering the 14th stage. 
of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, the secret stage. Normally there are only 13, however if you have unlocked any super forms, the super forms will allow you to play as a 14th stage as Sonic. I do not know if they allow you to do it as uh, any other character. So this boss, basically, you have to... Oh shit, I missed. Oh god. Uh, basically, just attack the balls. Um, wait for the timing. Oh shit. Basically, just attack the balls. They explode. And then what will happen is he will jump out. And if I still have my lightning shield, um, basically just attack him. Don't get hit by the laser. Watch out for the spikes as well. Now, you can get on him. Unfortunately, that doesn't really work. Three, four, five, six... Um, all I can say is wait for the right timing, and then just beat the shit out of it. I, I know, not particularly helpful, but I got nothing. So that was Act 1. So, now to take on Act 2. You want to be careful, because the game is a huge dick. It actually puts one of those guys right there. So he can just one-shot you. And here we have our first upside-down segment. Yes, the gravity actually switches in the... You get that. Now, if you go down, we will hit a lightning shield. And then from there, you can just pick whichever direction you want to go. Oh god, I should not have gone this way. Also, um, every time you jump, um, the direction of the thing under you changes. Okay, yeah, see, right there? Like, I've shown that you can clearly stand on the lightning. Um, so I don't know if it's the lightning bolt itself that hurts the lightning shield. I, I don't know, but if you, you can, the lightning shield will give minimal protection against that. Not very much, though. So get down there, get the thing, get the fuck out. So we hit this and whoop, gravity change. You can pick up the bubble shield if you so desire. I don't because I don't like the bubble shield. Alright, so with these, we have to stand over on this end so it drops. However, if we let it go too far, they break. Oh no. Boink. And I will warn you, you do want to have a lot of rings for this upcoming segment. Because if you do have a hyper form, what happens... Fuck. Uh, what happens next is going to heavily drain your ring supply. So, if you have a hyper form, do not... Um, Try not to use it against Robotniks for the first boss. Try to save it for the second one. Yes, this fight is actually one of the most intense and, frankly, one of my favorite bo uh, boss fights. Although I really like Mecha Sonic too, because you saw Mecha Sonic did. We didn't actually kill Mecha Sonic. Sure, he was hurt, but we didn't actually kill him. Oh come on. I have to be super careful, too. Oh, gosh, damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna activate Hyper. I have to. Because if I get hit and lose all those rings, I'm screwed. Not that the boss can't be fought without them, it's just kind of annoying to do so, so I would rather not risk it. Oh, shit. Not doing that again. Does Hyper Sonic. Okay, 
good. This is the one where you can collect rings, so this is what I need. Shit. Some shield is better than no shield. My shield this time, you dick. Okay, so when there's red sparks, I think that means it's this stage? I'm not sure, though. Shit. Um, for this boss, honestly, it really doesn't matter um, which shield you have. Fire may be slightly better, um, just for the sake of this. However, you may also have problems with fire. I like the double jump, so I'm going to be sticking with lightning for this boss. Although, considering we should break 300 rings, I will also have Hypersonic as the standby, so if you're having a hard time, switch over to Hyper. Although, like I said, if you can avoid using Hypersonic for the majority of this fight, you're going to be good. Um, oh yeah, almost 500 rings. We are golden. Assuming I can keep them. Alright, here we have the boss fight. So, Robotnik is controlling this Egg Sphere, and he has learned we cannot attack him now. Oh, fucking hell. And I've already lost my ring, my shield. Okay, we're going hyper for this one. The point of this is that shield will always stay pointed at you. So, you have to time it, and this is why I said try to avoid going hyper if you can avoid it. Um, you have to time it so that these little spike bombs will go up with a change of gravity into that floating orb thing that's dropping the mines. Um, it's not easy to pull off, and frankly, it's kind of frust- fuck. It's kind of frustrating, um, but you literally have no other way to do this. You cannot hurt this thing any other way. Okay, good, I got it. Oh, damn it, it broke. Um, they will explode also given time, so there's, you have to time it, like, precisely, basically, and you have to do it in, before they explode. Yes! Okay, got it. I think there's not that much more, 
Oh, I did that way too soon. Shit. Oh no, I got it. Oh, did it just put one down and that's and I sent it straight back up into it? If so, that's hilarious. Ah, uh, too late. Broke right before. Like I said, this is more of a timing mini game, and I probably oh, no, fucked it up again. I probably would have been fine to not go hyper. It's just I don't want to risk losing it during this battle. Fuck it, I did it way too soon. Okay, and they're all coming this way. Although that does create a shotgun effect. There's no way I can miss. I don't think he has that many more health points left, so... Oh, and they're both going left, so... Come on, get him! Yes, got him! Okay. So, it breaks. It's gonna come over here and explode this. And now, we can hunt down Fat Boy. And so this is so... Oh, shit. This is sort of a tie-in to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Or Sonic the Hedgehog 1, I think. Where Robotnik had a giant battle suit that we had to fight. Um, basically, though, I'm going to go hyper here, because all you have to do is destroy his fingers. Now, if you are under them, you can't just spin dash, um, because that makes it so that, you know, it, it just doesn't work. Basically, just avoid the smush and blow up the fingers. Super easy, right? Well, that's not the hard part. See, Robotnik has weaponized the Master Emerald, as well as giving it a power source. So basically, you have to hit his nose, and then hit the container holding the Master Emerald. Unfortunately, though, like I said, the Master Emerald has been weaponized, so you have to be careful. And I know that this kind of se makes it seem like a joke. Um, there's a reason for this. And you'll notice we're no longer super hyper. Um, we need to run like fuck, though. Because this is very similar to... S this is very similar to Sonic and Knuckles' first... Sonic and Knuckles' first boss. Basically, Robotnik is running with the Master Emerald because the Death Egg is now being destroyed. Apparently, that robot was its power source. So we have to hit Robotnik and keep hitting him until he blows up. What? I didn't know it would do that. I... I've honestly never died in that section before. I didn't know that that was possible. I may have to restart the stage because I don't know that I can do this as a perfect run. Like this, I can do no problem. As you can see, this is not hard. you'll get a chance to see what this boss is like. Also, love... I, I really like the change in music, too. Like... Oh boy, this is gonna be awkward. I just... I didn't know that Robotnik could just auto-kill you like that. And no rings is going to make this impossible. Yeah. 
I'm not going to waste any further time with this. Um, this is actually impossible for me to do. I can't do this boss uh, with having zero rings, so I'm going to have to relaunch the game, or relaunch this stage, so I'll see you guys when I'm back to where I was.